One of the first things that a metal roofer learns is how to cut a roof sheet. Now, there are many ways that a roof sheet can be cut. Now, hand cutting using the traditional tin snips is the best way to cut a roof sheet. It may be the slowest, but it can be the neatest, and there are advantages in using the hand snips rather than the power tools. Now, sooner or later, a roofer will graduate into power tools, and this is when he likes to have a bit of fun. So, there's a few ways that you can cut a roof sheet using power tools. One way is to use the nibbler. The nibbler is quite versatile and one of the disadvantages is that it leaves a lot of cutting, those are the little bits and pieces, on the roof. And if you don't clean it up properly, then you have lots of bits of offcuts that can cause rust on your roof. So the other favorite tool for a metal roofer is the shears. So you can either get shears as a complete tool or you can buy an attachment that you can put on the end of your battery powered drill. This will cut reasonably well. But still nothing beats the hand cut in terms of neatness and accuracy. One tool that you should never use on a roof sheet is a grinder. A grinder will leave lots and lots of swath on the roof and this will create rust. But the main reason why using a grinder on a roof sheet is not recommended by the manufacturers is that it's what they call hot cutting. And what hot cutting does is that it destroys the protective layer. And after a while, the edge of the roof sheet where you've done the cut would start to rust. Not immediately, so if you were to cut a roof sheet using a grinder, short term, you can't tell the difference. But go back after a few years, and this is what you see. You can see that the edge has been cut with a grinder, and the grinder doesn't leave all that neat an edge. But after a while, because the protective coating, the zinc coating, doesn't protect the hot edge, it is unprotected and it starts to rust. So you can see that this valley has been cut with a grinder and you can see the result. Now on the adjacent roof, which is really, really new, you can see that it has been cut and it's been cut using shears because you can tell with the indentations that it's been done using shears and not using tin snips because tin snips has a characteristic cut that you will recognize once you've been on a roof for a while. So if you want to cut a roof sheet, never ever use a grinder. You either use tin snips or shears or nibblers and you can even use jigsaws but they're not quite as versatile. It's always back to using the hand, a bit of elbow grease and the tin snips which produces the best result.